The final topic of this class is managing segments. In this section, we are done with the analysis of the piping model, but we will learn how to work with our segments. We will walk through splitting segments, joining segments, reversing segments, reordering segments, and using our segment viewing controls. The split segment command will split the existing point located on a common segment into two segments. Operations like the split segment command enables users to easily model piping which is or is not subjected to wind loading, for instance, indoor versus outdoor piping in one single model. It can also be used to break the model by splitting the segments and then deleting the point on one of the segments. The join segment command will merge two segments at a junction or continuation point. Merging segments allows less segments and simplifies the model when segments have been reconnected back at a junction or a continuation point. The reverse segment command will reverse the direction of the current segment and renumber if it has alphanumeric numbering. This is very useful when you're importing CAD models when often the sequence that the CAD model was built in is in an unorganized manner for piping model. Reversing the segments also improves the ease of working with the model such as inserting components in a forward segment direction. The reorder segment command will bring up a dialog box that allows reordering segments by typing in numbers in the order column and clicking the reorder button, and this will rename the segments. This is also very useful when importing CAD models, when often the sequence that the CAD model was built in is a somewhat unorganized manner for piping model, which also means that the segment numbering is not well organized when it's imported into AutoPipe. It can be desirable to reorder segments to where it's easier to understand the flow of the model where adjacent segments have similar sequential order. We also have some segment viewing controls available. The hide selected segments command will hide all selected segments in the model, which is useful to remove some segments that might be cluttering the model when trying to investigate a critical area of the model. The hide unselected segments command will hide all unselected segments in the model. This is useful to isolate a few segments to only view and work with those specific segments in your piping model. There's also a show all segments command, which will make all segments visible in the model. This is useful to quickly view the complete model. Let's practice using these segment commands in our piping model. First, we can review the current segment configuration using our show options. So let's click on our show ribbon and we'll come over to our segment option. This shows us that there are currently six segments in our piping model A through F. It's clear to see with a nice color coded plot and a key located on the top left corner of the plot. When done reviewing our segments, we can reset our show options. Now let's suppose we wish to begin a new segment at point A25 in our model. This might represent the location where the piping system exits the building, and creating new segments allows selective application of loads, such as wind loads, which may only act on a portion of the piping. So in order to split the segment, we first want to select point A25 as our active point. Then we can come up to our home ribbon and our segment pull down menu, and we can click on our split segment command. We now see that to the right of point A25, we have segment G. We can also view this in our input grid. If I come to my view tab and open up my input grid, I can click on my segment tab and I now see that I have segment G in my piping model. If I move this down, we can see that it's synchronized with the plot, selected both in the input grid and also on the plot. One last way we can review this if I close my input grid is using those color plots again. So again, I can come to my show ribbon, my segment option, and I now see that I have seven segments, A through G. When done reviewing this, I can reset my show options. Another segment option is to join segments if desired. 
In order to join two segments, you have to select the point that lies on both segments. And if this is not immediately obvious, you can use the input grid to see which point should be selected. So again, I'll open up my input grid. And I can see that point A25 is the last point on segment A and is the first point on segment G. So I want to select point A25 as my active point. Again, I will just close my input grid to declutter my screen. And looking in my status bar, I can see point A25 is my active point. I can now join these two segments, segment A and segment G, by coming to my home ribbon, my segment pull down menu, and selecting the join segment option. I now see that all of the points on this segment are segment A points. And segment A has actually been renumbered also. So joining segments has the effect of renumbering the points in the newly created segment. So now we have points A00 to A30 in order. The next two commands that we will use are our reverse segment command and our reorder segment command. It's possible to have many segments in your piping model with no apparent logic to the direction of their point numbering. And this may be the case if a model is imported from a CAD drafting program such as AutoPlant or OpenPlant or MicroStation. In this interface, the model may have been created in a manner that suited typical CAD drafting conventions, but it had no consideration given to the logical flow of the piping segments. So for these cases, the numbering of points within a segment can be reversed or reordered. In this model, segment C and segment E represent the discharge piping for two pumps with points C00 and E00 being the pump discharge points. Let's suppose that we wish to reverse the segment numbering of these discharge lines so that the pump discharge point is the last point of each segment. To do this, we simply need to select any point on that segment to reverse the segment order. So we'll start with segment C. I will select in this case C30 as my active point. As long as my active segment is C, we can reverse the segment direction for segment C. So with C30 as my active point, I will come to my home ribbon, my segment menu, and I will reverse the segment. We now see that on segment C, the points are going in the opposite direction. We can verify that Autopipe appropriately applied the segment reversal to the pump discharge point on segment C by opening up our rotating equipment dialog box. So coming to our insert ribbon and clicking on rotating equipment, we can review the information for that pump one. And we see that the discharge point, while we initially inputted it as C00, it has been automatically updated to point C30 when we reverse the order of that segment. So we can accept this dialog box by clicking OK. And let's also reverse the order of segment E. So I'll select a different point on segment E, for instance, E20. Again, as long as segment E is my active segment, I will reverse the order of that segment. I'll come up to my home ribbon, my segment menu, and I'll click on reverse segment. I see that the point order on this segment is now also reversed. The next thing we can do with our segments is reorder our segments, which again is very useful when importing from a CAD model. To do this, it doesn't matter what your active point is. We can come up to our home ribbon and our segment pull down and select reorder segment. This brings up a dialog box with our segment order. We can modify the segment number order. So let's suppose that we want to switch segment C and D. That would mean that we'd be making segment D the third segment and segment C the fourth segment. So in this dialog box, I want to change segment D to order number three, and I'll tab off. And you can see that segment C automatically then gets pushed back to order number four. If this seems correct, we can then click on apply. We have a warning message telling us that when you renumber points, it does not update your external loading files. That's okay. We don't have any external loading files, so we can click yes. And we now see that segments C and D have been switched correctly to how we wanted them to appear. So with that, we can hit close. The last thing that we can do with segments is use Autopipe's 
enhanced controls for viewing segments. We can hide selected segments in the current view or choose to hide all other segments besides the selected segment in the current view. In very complicated models with numerous elements, sometimes it may be difficult to view or select components within a segment that needs to be modified. So these features greatly improve the ability to make necessary modifications by selecting the segments to be isolated in the view. This also helps to focus in on critical areas in your piping model that may be giving you some problems. So let's select segment E by clicking on our select ribbon and segment. And in the command line in the bottom left, we will type in E and click select. Once that's selected, we can then click finish. Let's suppose that we wanted to hide segment E from view. Maybe it's in the way for some reason. We can come to our home ribbon, our segment menu, and select hide selected segments. We can see that segment E is no longer in view. If we want to show all of our segments again, we can come back up to the home ribbon, the segment menu, and click on show all segments. If we wanted to really focus in on only segment E, we can come up to our segment pull down menu and select hide unselected segments. Again, if we want to show all of our segments, come back to that segment pull down menu and show all segments. The other way that we can select which segments we are currently viewing on the screen is in our input grid. So again, if I come to my view ribbon and open my input grid, on my segment tab, there is a show column and I can check or uncheck the segments to be shown in the current view. This completes our model modification quick start class for Autopipe. At this point, let's save our model. Thank you for joining the class. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.